Guess what today is? What's today? <laughs> today is our three month mm -hmm. anniversary of being full time on the road. Um, we wanted to take this little quick break and give you a live update and let you know what the first three months of full time life have been like. It's August 25th. Today is August 25th. Yes. We left on this journey on May 25th. Yes. We are currently in South Dakota and it is beautiful. I think today's high was only like 72. It mm -hmm. really dropped, but it's we're in a really beautiful campsite. <clears throat> Lots of pine everywhere. So we've been talking a lot about our three month <laughs> yeah. into this only because we've reflected so much on having the opportunity to be able to do this. Yes. So I think that we've talked about it in videos past. We don't ever want to seem ungrateful for this life and we are so blessed that we get to do this. And I, I just, so to, to think that three months, I know <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I mean, mm -hmm. we were talking about it. We've been on the road for three months. I've been retired for almost four. Um, I think the crazy part is that we've been planning this for upwards of three years. Um, during COVID in 2020 is when we first started looking at RVs. Mm -hmm. And then we took about a year, year and a half to find the right RV, which we did. Um, loving every minute of it. And then obviously retiring and everything else. So it's been a long process. And what's funny is the, the our trip and our travels right now that we're on, we've been planning this for quite a long time. And it's amazing just to think that here we are. Yeah. We're, we're here that true true it's it's kind of surreal because we did we we do plan ahead um mm -hmm. just until we we're still new obviously with three months and so until we get the hang of it and having a an rv that is so large um we want we we plan ahead what we're doing and so we were talking the other day and i'm like can you believe like <clears throat> utah's over California's over and these are all things that we planned and we took the time you know and I I just remember I was still working mm -hmm. and I was like oh it's never gonna come and it's finally here and now that it is here and we're actually in the middle of doing it it is um I think a it's going by really fast yes. <laughs> but it's also like mm, I don't know it's just I don't know I think it's just amazing it's, I don't. Any regrets? No, absolutely no regrets. I mean, every day I look forward to what's what's our new adventure going to um, bring us. What are we going to wind up doing for the day? Yeah, even if that's sitting in the campground and right. or cleaning or yes. getting things done around the rig or just sitting out here and mm -hmm. having, um, you know, just, I don't know. Living. It, living, living. Yeah, yeah. But living in places where you want to live where the weather is amazing and yes. getting to experience the rv community mm -hmm. and the people um and just i don't know being able to just take it all in yeah you know yeah. every part of it the, the 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 casual and the quiet but then the running around and so i don't know there's i there's i'm just very blessed i I don't know another word to say, and I'm yeah. so grateful because. And this, and this <clears throat> journey with uh, with you guys, um, YouTube World, <laughs> and bringing you guys along on this it's journey, true. it's very interesting because the last RV park we were at in Utah, I think three different people came up to us in the RV park or walked by the RV and saw us sitting out at the picnic table like we are now, and said, "Hey." I watch you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, I like your channel. And that this was and that. so weird. It was yeah. so weird. But <laughs> it was, it was a little so, weird. <laughs> but it was also so sweet. And we talked about it. And yeah. I, I'm the type of person that I, if I saw somebody that I watched on YouTube, I would not stop and talk. And I would. Kevin would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this. Um, but you know what's funny is when, I, when we're sitting out there, I love that people talk to us. And yes. I thank them for coming over. So if you mm -hmm. do ever see us, you know, Please stop and talk and say hello because I love meeting the people. I love, yes. you know, I love it. That's, so <clears throat> That's one of the best things about this RV life is just meeting new people. Um, so far, I could probably say, you know, for both of us that when we were up in Happy Jack 
for that month. Mm, yeah. Getting to meet and get to know all the people. That was a good one. Yeah, because most everybody in that RV park stays for the entire summer. Mm -hmm. We were one of the anomalies that were only staying for a month. <laughs> and But we got to meet so many amazing people that... Yes, and if you watch, you know who you are. I think yeah. that you and I want to take this journey together and not take anything for granted. We know that we're blessed. We know that um, not everybody can do what we're doing. So, right. you know, we just, uh, we want to be deliberate right. about doing this and knowing that we are blessed. But yeah, we just wanted to share with you real quick um, kind of where we are and what our thought process was, you know, for the first three months, you know, especially for some of you guys that maybe thinking about going full-time or planning mm -hmm. for full-time because I think that's what we were the most you know concerned with from the beginning is okay what's the beginning going to be like because once you get used to something for a while then you get used to it but what's the beginning going to be like and yeah it's amazing mm -hmm. and that doesn't mean that we haven't had issues <laughs> yes with the rig and different things but it's just um I don't know. You allow you allow yourself grace. You allow each other grace, and you just problem mm -hmm. solve together, and you move on. Yes. So, and you remember why you're doing it. I think that's the big thing. Right. And I think that's one thing I would say to you: if you're thinking about it, don't think about it. Just do it. Yep. Just do it. Absolutely. And that's the thing: if you don't like it, then you don't like it. Mm -hmm. Nothing lost. I always, when people would ask me, I'd say, "Well, then we just won't do it if we don't end up liking it." So. Um, but it's amazing. It's amazing to kind of <clears throat> be the captain of your own ship and mm -hmm. go out and see the world, basically. Absolutely. We've mm -hmm. seen so many amazing and things. And we're not even that far along. I know. <laughs> Can't wait for the videos to catch up. Um, as you know, the videos are usually three, four weeks behind live. So some of the things we've done the last month are just absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And we can't wait for you guys to see all that. But we wanted just to give you a live update on what's going on. <laughs> Don't forget, we're, we're planning on doing a Q&A. So if you've got questions for us, please leave them down below in the comments. We'll answer them in a Q&A video. And if that goes well, we may break down and do a live one night. You know, we'll we'll figure it out. We're still we're still trying to figure out the whole YouTube thing. So we're finally getting around to putting the map on on our slide. I kind of I like the fact that the map is black and our slide is black, so it's going to kind of hide the states that we haven't gone to yet. Which are going to be we, a lot. Yes, until we get the <laughs> stickers on. So, all right, let's go ahead and do it. So, the first sticker I'm going to put on, obviously, is going to be Arizona. Because that's when we got our rig and we did our shakedowns and it's our home state. So, there it is. Arizona <laughs> going on first. Here's our flag. This is our last shakedown trip. Not that we have to do them in order, but we may as well since we remember. So, Nevada, you're next. So, there's Cali big one. It's going to go right here. Can you tell we're West Coast people? <laughs> uh, I think it's so funny when I see other people's maps and they have none of the West Coast. Everything over here is done because it's going to be so totally opposite us. Uh, but everybody starts somewhere, right? Where we are now, Utah. So we're going to have our four little states. So our question for you is, what do you guys use as your threshold for putting stickers on your map? I've been reading a lot in the forums and a lot on the Facebook pages where people are asking what's the rules and the requirements, and obviously there is none, it's whatever you wanna do. For right now, Larika and I have decided that if we spend the night at a location in our RV, we're gonna put a sticker on. But that may change down the road if we wind up staying someplace like maybe on a border but we do a lot of activities in a state but we don't actually sleep there i don't know for me we stayed one night in mesquite had we not done laughlin then we would right. die but so we talked about this but mm -hmm. we stayed one night at mesquite and but we did go over to the casino we ate we interacted i don't know about when we stay and we literally just sleep in the rig and then leave 
I don't know if that's fair. So like you're saying, not even fair, but right. if I would consider that staying in a state. So yeah. you're saying just like we're going to revisit it when we go. Yeah. So do us a favor. Leave us a comment down below. Tell us what are your rules? How do you guys decide when to put a sticker on? Yeah. Is it just sleeping or do you have to do some sort of major activity? Um, keep it PG because I know I've read a <laughs> little, lot of things where some people yeah. say other activities have to take place in a state to get your sticker. Let's leave that out. But seriously, tell us what do you guys think as far as what are your requirements on putting your map stickers on? So today, Diane and I, we got up and we went for a walk. We did this yesterday and we actually just walked around the actual RV park. It's quite large. Um, and if you go up and down the aisles, you can get you know a lot of steps in. So we wanted to look and whatever. So today it rained, um, not terrible rain last night, but it rained a good, what would you say, a good little drizzle for all throughout the night. We haven't seen morning. rain since like April. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it was very beautiful out this morning um, and the humidity hadn't started to pick up. It still isn't even that bad. But anyway, so we were like, let's leave the RV park and go walk through the neighborhood down here. So we started walking and we were just, we went through a neighborhood, we started walking and we just were walking and talking and we just kept walking. And then the next thing we knew, we had gone to the main street out there, Antelope, and we came back and at one point we were like, are we gonna have to have Kevin and Chris come rescue us? <laughs> because I knew where we were, but as we were walking and we weren't seeing the street, I, I lost my confidence on it. So then Diane had her phone, so she checked and we ended up going right. But we just, I can't believe we walked that much. We ended up doing about three miles, um, definitely over an hour of walking. And so by the time we got back and there's, it, it, we're definitely up on a hill. So when you walk back, you're definitely, there's incline. Um, so we were feeling it. We were sweating and the humidity had picked up somewhat. So I told Kevin, I'm like, I'm going to the pool. I'm gonna go cool down and I don't know, walk in the here, do whatever. So we took advantage of this beautiful pool and uh, Kevin's in the jacuzzi. I'll probably get in there later. But anyway, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Don't have a whole lot going on today. We need to get to the store. Um, but yeah, I'm just always thankful for this life. We get to experience new things and new places. And I'm especially happy because we're still doing family time. So that makes my heart happy. So it's good. We are in Sam's Club yeah. doing some shopping. <laughs> I don't need any more pillows. Though. I don't. I just say that they're cute. Yeah. So we've been here in town for about two days and it's shopping time. So time for some groceries. My job is to push the cart and then do the scan and go. So we skip the cash register lines. It's pretty cool. Reservoir with Larika brother Josh and their boat. There's Josh in the background driving the boat. Say hi, Josh. <laughs>
now going to drive. Ah! Look who's driving the boat, baby! God help us all. <laughs> want them to look like this and we are an rv snap pad affiliate so use our discount code down below for 10 percent off your order we got one more sticker to put on one more retired road tripping sticker uh really dear friend of mine that i used to work with i've actually known her since she was a teenager and then she got hired with us uh she made it for me for retirement so we're finally getting around to put it on the uh, window and you're you're suffering greatly without your sunglasses on aren't you I am a little bit, but that's okay. I can tell. That's okay. <laughs> so yeah, she made a little, a cute little at retired road tripping. So we're going to go ahead and put it on the window. Larika and I are debating where to put it. I thought about putting it in the middle underneath. Larika thinks it should go in the bottom left corner. So it's going in the bottom left corner. <laughs> Stop. I'm All right. You. So bottom left. Yeah, but what if I'm wrong? I'll just be confident and say yes. Bottom left corner. All right. Bottom left corner. We might get comments that say, nope, you should have put it in the middle. We'll see. So then you have to peel off that other? Yep. So this was, this, you can make these on your Cricut. The one that I put on the back of the actual RV was made on our Cricut machine but she either did this one herself or had it made, and I thought it was super sweet. So. That's so satisfying. And there it is. One of my dealerships called me and said that I had a recall on the truck. It said it needed to be taken care of right away, so I called the local Ford dealership here in Layton, and they sent out a mobile team the very next morning. I called them yesterday, and they're here today. That's service. Thank you, Ford. I decided to take Larika to the gun store to do a little shooting. We are at Get Some Guns and Ammo here in Utah, and they've got an indoor range and everything else. So I decided, you know, since I retired three months ago and haven't done any shooting since, and we didn't have a whole lot else going on today, we're gonna go, we're gonna spend an hour or so here in the indoor range and do a little shooting. So we're gonna have some fun, right, babe? Right. Okay, here we go. Keep going. It's a rhythm, it's a rhythm. There you go. Well, put that down. I did. Did you have fun? <laughs> I need to do it more often. Yes. So now that I'm retired, good. we'll do it more often. Yeah. It's okay. Good. Let's clean up. It's the fun part. All right. So do us a favor. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you'll be notified when new videos come out because we love sharing this life with you. We do. Thank you for all of your support. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't be afraid to come up and say hi if you see us.